What's going on, Throd Squad, and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be working on the JDM front end Integra, but if you guys don't already know, you guys are new to the channel, we are giving away a GoPro Hero 7. All you have to do is take a screenshot that you're subscribed and then send it to us on Instagram at throttle underscore family, and you're entered in to win, and we're giving away as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers. So, but today, we're gonna to be working on the JDM front, and if you guys can't tell by the video, we are gonna be doing some modifications to underneath the hood and let's open this up right here all right now let me put the hood latch up fun stuff so if you guys can't already tell this engine bay is filthy it is completely covered in dirt and it just looks disgusting so i'm gonna clean it all up and then we're gonna take this out and we're gonna make this look like brand new so right now i'm gonna get started cleaning all this up and then detailing it and we're gonna remove all the grease off of everything so let's get started all right so we're gonna start with some simple green let's get at it So I'm not just some hack, so I wanna actually use this and try to get in here on all the areas I can to actually give it a nice little rub down to just loosen up all the grease on everything that I can get to. You know, just like the top of the surface of the motor and in the top of the intake and all the other parts that you can get to. I just wanna make this thing look a little bit nicer and just get in there clean it up because this is actually a car that I'm actually going to care about and drive on a daily basis. So I want to be able to be able to make sure if there's an oil leak that pops up or anything new, I want to be able to see everything and I want to be able to make sure that everything looks nice. So I'm just going to go over the main areas where I can see stuff and then get right down in here on this transmission and just kind of just give it a, you know, a nice little rub. There's a lot of stuff in the way. So I just want to be able to get everything that I can and just make it look a little bit better before I spray it down with some water. Also, letting this stuff sit for a minute definitely helps clean everything up. So I know it looks a little dirty, but once I wash it off with some water, it'll all come right off. So get started on that. Get even down in here in the cracks, wipe it down, just make it look nice. Be careful you don't knock any wiring off if you're doing this yourself. Because you don't want to be like, why isn't my car running? I just watched Greg on Throttle Family show us how to do it. Now it's not working. So this is kind of a, a do at your own risk. Make sure everything's all good on your own end. So just want to clean everything up. Make everything look a little bit nicer. There we go. Get on here. All right. So I'm going to continue doing this for a little bit. So I'll be right back in the next step which is going to be spraying everything all down. right so after i scrubbed it down just going to grab my hose right here make sure that it's set on jet right here and i'm just going to spray around all the areas that i already got so let's get started After your first rinse, you're gonna be able to see that a lot of stuff got cleaned up, but there's a lot of places that you can't reach. And this way gives you an idea of how you can go over it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more simple green, spray it on some more spots, grab this little toothbrush I got, and get right in there and just aggravate all that grease around. 
and you can see it comes right off. So this is the tedious part. So I'm not gonna make you guys watch everything. So I'm gonna go through and just get over all little spots just like this right in here, just to clean everything up and make it look nice. All right, time to grab the hose again. This is a rinse and repeat process. Just keep going over everything. So it looks amazing. second rinse I mean everything else is coming out really nice and it's starting to get really clean I mean I scrubbed on here I scrubbed on this but this stuff's just not gonna come off super easy it's definitely gonna take a couple more a couple more goes at it but I mean overall you know what a big improvement this has made it already just so far so now while we sit here wait for this to dry up a little bit I'm gonna remove this intake um, it's gonna be really simple for me because all I have to do is snip this right here unscrew this little bolt right here and I'll pull it right out. All right, so after I unscrewed this, I actually got really lucky because the filter, I literally just tapped it right off. So I'm gonna grab this, wiggle it out, and then it should come right out. Boom, easy. So now that I have the intake off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this little drill I have right here and uh, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. And I'm just gonna go over it. Um, my goal is to not make it 100% perfect because uh, I noticed that this one has some really, really big imperfections. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spend like a minute or two going over it. I have some shop towels right here so I can wipe it up. I already, I already grabbed it, a shop towel, just to wipe down all the excess grease that was still on it after cleaning it. So let's get on it. That's probably more than enough to do the whole thing. So I'm just gonna sit here, rub it on there. And I'm mainly only concerned really about the high parts because that's all you're really gonna see anyways. So I'll go to this side and I'll just start turning it. And already, as you can just see, just from a little tiny bit, it's starting to look a lot better right here. So I'm gonna keep going on this and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys. So I just got done cleaning up, bring it back into the sunlight so you guys can see. Um, it definitely cleaned it up a lot better than it was, but you can see the paint's pretty damaged. It was a little hard to repair it. But if you look down here, this is what the whole thing looked like with scratches all over the whole thing, all the way around it. So I definitely got it to be a lot better than it was. If you compare this to this, I think it came out a lot better. I could send this down to bare metal, um, but I really want to keep these stickers on here. And I think it'd be hard for me to clean it all up. I mean, I don't really care if the AEM stickers on here or not, but I definitely need these because I live in California and they definitely need us. So let's get this thrown back in the engine bay and we'll keep going. All right, so I got this back on here. I'm going to tighten this down and then We'll dry everything up in the engine bay and we'll get her started. So here we are, so much cleaner. I mean, you could just tell down here all the grease off the transmission, off the distributor. I mean, shoot, even on the power steering reservoir and even on the power steering. I mean, I still have more work to do, obviously, but for now, this is great for me to work in the engine bay, not get my hands completely covered in grease. I mean, just, that's not even bad. So that's just from poking around but I definitely got this whole area cleaned up a lot more. If you guys can tell down there, that was covered in dirt. So it's looking great. But to all you guys who made it to the end of the video, you know, thank you. It means a lot to us and um, appreciate it. We got so much more coming on this. Um, you know, it's looking much better already. I gotta do some touch-ups on the paint that's coming soon. We gotta clean the, the rims and tires. We're gonna raise it up just a tiny little bit just because it's not even not even rolled, so I need to roll it and maybe pull it a little bit, bring the camera out a little bit. I don't want to wear the tires out too much just because I have to drive it as a daily. 
Um, possible Type R wing come and let us know in the comment section if you guys want to see that because I definitely love Type R wings. And just to give you guys a little surprise, we got a secret car back there. Can't tell you what it is. Most of y'all, if you know cars, you know what it is. So the Del Sol, super clean. Probably not going to find one as clean as that one. And then I also am going to do a couple interior fixes on the next video. <clears throat> I'm going to fix all the shakiness that's got in here. And then I'm going to replace these bolts with some much more legit ones, if you guys can't tell. Um, the NRG quick release hub, it's nice. Just need to swap it out. I'm going to fix some interior pieces, get some more paneling for it. So, you know, stay tuned. You know, like I said, still working on getting this thing clean. Still going at it. Gonna replace these door panels with some other ones. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do custom covers on your door panels. I'm not gonna change these because these are pretty OEM and I think someone would like that. But the next door panels I'm gonna get are cloth that are messed up. So they're gonna be perfect. Gonna get rid of this crown royal shifter and clean it all up. I mean, as you guys can see, I haven't detailed it yet since I got it. We've just been working on everything else. Also, gonna order a new rim for right here. So you guys will see a ton of improvements. Who knows? Maybe we'll even boost this thing. You know what I mean? So just let me know what you guys think. You know, if you guys want to see it boosted, you guys want to see whatever. I mean, maybe not this year, but maybe next year we'll throw a, throw a get on it, turbo kit on it. I just want to get the secret car over there completed. So guys, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I want to hear you guys' feedback, what you guys want us to do to the car, whatever you guys want to see, you know, pretty much we'll do, except for lower it even more and more camper, just because I have to daily this. If I didn't have to daily it and that was just a show car, you know, I'd keep it slammed to the ground. But I'm just only going to raise it like this much, guys. And I'm also going to make some clearance in the wheel wells and stuff. So stay tuned.